After the Vietnam War, military commanders acknowledged the need for highly maneuverable airframes, and the lightweight fighter program produced the F-16 Fighting Falcon in the 1970s. The F-16 has a remarkable history, but not all of its variations have entered service, and one of them was the F-16 XL. Intended to replace the F-111 aardvark, the two F-16 XL prototypes ended up at Edwards Air Force Base after the McDonnell Douglas F-15 won that contract. Supercruise was the F-16 XL Escort concept, and the final prototype had a greater range and reduced fuel consumption. This variant could carry double the payload of the original F-16 and fly 44% longer. Even with its full complement of air-to-air -air missiles, the F-16 XL was able to fly further without the use of additional fuel tanks. It was able to outrun the F-16A by as much as 311 knots with an afterburner at altitude. The F-16 XLS enhanced durability was the result of two extra features. The first is a smaller radar profile thanks to the reshaped configuration, while the second is greater maneuverability in a split second and increased flight range when carrying bombs. The USAF Strike Eagle proved to be extremely capable, but the F-16 XL would have improved it if accepted alongside the F-15.